Hi, this is Hongshu from MotionCircles.com. In today's video, I'll teach you how to do this animation in After Effects. Without further ado, let's get started. Now let's get started. First, we need to create the gradient aura. Let's drop in our color palette into our composition. Let's create a bunch of circles by using the shape layer. And then we can change the circles into the same color as my color palettes. I can turn off the color palettes for now. After we have the five circles, let's go to create a background. Let's sample the lightest color and then make it even lighter. Maybe a beige color like this. Put it as a background. Now we can go to effects and presets search for wiggle effects go to wiggle position let's apply wiggle position into one layer the wiggle speed is set to one wiggle per second and then the amount is set to 50. copy the wiggle position onto all these shape layers let's take a look all these circles are wiggling and now let's create a null object make sure the null is in the center parent all these shape layers to the null and then hit R for the rotation, hit Option, click on the stopwatch. Let's add in a time times 100 expression so that we have the null controlling the rotation of these shape layers. Now we have not only the shape layer wiggling on its own, we also have a rotation controlling the shape layer. Next, let's select everything and pre-compose it. Command Shift C, call this one gradient aura yellow, okay. And we need to go to search for fast box blur, apply the fast box blur, change the radius to maybe 50 or maybe 30. And we also need to create another circle with the shape layer. Let's create a circle like this. Set the anchor point in the center, go to align, make sure the circle is, is in the dead center of the composition. Let's use the circle as the track mat for my gradient layer. Let's go to track mat and then select circle layer one. And now we should have this aura that's animating within the circle. I can zoom in. Maybe let's make the circle a bit bigger. That looks nice. And then let's click on the gradient yellow composition. Right click, go to layer styles. Let's add a inner glow. Let's change the size to maybe a bigger size. Let me turn the resolution to fold so it's easier to see. As I change the size, you can see the inner glow is growing. Let's change it to maybe around 50. Opacity, we can change it to 70. We can also change the value of the choke, maybe to 20. And then let's change the color to more of a white color. And the next thing I want to do is right click, go to layer style. Let's add in a bevel and emboss. For the bevel and emboss, for the highlight color, I wanted to have this yellow color as a highlight. And then for the shadow color, I want to have more of a pinkish color at the shadow color. And then for the size of the bevel, let's change it all the way up to maybe 150. I think the shadow is overpowering. So let's drag the opacity down maybe to 40. So this is gonna be our gradient aura. For the highlight, let's make it even wider. All good for now. Let's go to Vibrance. Add Vibrance onto my composition. Let's change it to maybe 50%. This is before and after. We can also tone it all the way to 100% to make it more vibrant. I think I like it at 100%. That looks pretty good. Let's click on these two layers. Precompose it again, call this one aura yellow. And now we have this aura. Let's make this aura smaller, change it to 50, and then hit P on the keyboard, pull out the position property, right click, separate dimensions. On the Y position, let's add a expression, call this one wiggle, and then frequency is five wiggle per second. Amount could be 100 pixels. Let's see what it looks like. That might be too much. Let's change it to four and then change the amount to 50. 
I just want this ball to wiggle in the composition. That looks pretty good. Move it all the way up a little bit. Before we continue, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. We will publish new content every week. Click the subscribe button to level up your animation skills and get inspired with great animation every week. You can also join our exclusive community to hang out with motion designers to grow together. Check the link in the description below. Next thing we need to create some triangles. So in terms of the wave, what we need to do is we need to create a bunch of waves. So as you can see in my wave one, I have this triangle created and uh, it's also applied to this grading color. And I got wave two, this bigger triangle with another grading color. Wave three would be just a triangle with an outline. And then wave four would be this even bigger triangle with a different grading color, wave five. And then wave six would be this very thin triangle. So now we need to go to our demo layer and then let me add in all six of my wave triangles onto my composition. And this is what it looks like right now after I add in the triangle. Next thing we need to do is align the point of the triangle with my aura and then parent the layer to the aura. So if I play it, these triangles is gonna go with the aura itself up and down. That looks good. Next, let's go through all these waves I think I need to put wave six on top. This is smallest one. And then wave three on top as well because this one has lines to it. Let's go to add in a wave warp. Let's do it with the first wave. Let's change the wave height to 40, make it higher, bigger. And then let's change the wave width to 300, make it even bigger. If I only solo the aura and the wave, this is what it looks like. It's gonna be waving like this. And we need to pin the top point to make sure it's static. So pinning, change to top edge. And then let's change the wave speed to two. It's waving like this. Another thing we need to do is let's go to add a mirror effect. Add an adjustment layer, call this one mirror. Go to search for the mirror effect. And then within the X position, let's divide it by two. So we're mirroring in the center of the composition. And now you can see it's waving symmetrically. Another thing we need to do is we need to change the waving direction. Right now the waving direction is not correct. We need to change the direction to 180 degrees. So it's waving down. Now that looks better. I like it. So we can apply the same wave warp to all the other waves that we have. Command B. Let's take a look what it looks like. Now they're all looking the same. However, I need to randomize the settings so that they're not looking the same. Let's go to wave two. Let me solo wave one and wave two. And then I need to make sure the mirror effect is on the very top, like this. For wave two, let's change the height a little bit so it looks different. And then let's adjust the wave three. The wave three, we can also change the height a little bit. Let's add in another warp effect to these waves. We can put it on the first one first. And in terms of warping, it's not working with an arc. We need to change the band to zero. And then let's change the arc to more of a bulge warping. If I change it to vertical, and then if I manipulate the vertical distortion, it's gonna make my starting point of the wave thinner, narrower, and then make the ends wider. So this is what we need to do. If I apply this warp effect onto the other waves as well, we can now manipulate each wave individually, make sure it looks good and it's the way we want it. After some manipulation on the setting, this is the wave that we got. And the next thing we need to do is to add some inner glow and bevel and emboss on all the waves that we have. Let me go inside this layer and then copy the bevel and emboss and the inner glow onto my gradient aura, copy this one. And then let's come outside, go to wave one, paste it in. I think the inner glow is too much or it might be the bevel and emboss is too much. So let's dial back the size to 50. I think that looks pretty good. And then if I copy the layer style, paste it onto all the other waves, this is the animation that we get. 
After we have this part of the animation, we just need to make another gradient aura in blue color as we already have it here. Let's drag in our orb blue and yellow. It's gonna be the same way as we made the gradient aura at the beginning. And then we can have all these auras or orbs coming in from the center to shoot out to the side of the composition, something like this. So we have these orbs shooting out from the center. That looks pretty good. And then if I cut everything from this point, let me add in my first part of the animation, which is this scene here with just a gradient aura coming in from the side. Let's paste it into my demo composition. There you go, that's our final animation with the wave and the gradient aura. And now let's just drag in our background. Instead of using a black background, we can make a gradient background like this. Let's change this one to scene two. Cut it from here. Maybe use curve editor to change the color a little bit. Give it some glowing effects. There you go, that's our final animation. That's it with this video. Hope you liked it and learned a couple of tips and tricks for our next project. Let me know if this video is helpful in the comments down below and what other videos or tutorials you'd like to see on this channel. I love to hear your feedback. Also, let me know in the comments if you'd like to use a different effect or do anything differently from this video. Let's keep sharing and grow together. One last thing, don't forget to join our exclusive Discord community to hang out with fellow designers. Stay on top of industry trends and grow together. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.